Backside High Tech. In this video, I'm going to go do a teardown of this VCR DVD combo machine and see how it works and to see if there's any components that are worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is just simply take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, and just simply open up the housing. There we go. That was easy. And there, there's what the inside looks like. How very interesting. This little motor here looks very interesting. A bunch of electrolytic capacitors and this PC cooling fan. Some components that I see that are already very interesting. Over here in the power supply has some interesting components such as these transistors, transformers, and some diodes that are worth salvaging. And of course, the DVD player has some interesting components inside. We'll open that later. But first, what I'm going to do is just pull out all the ribbon cables. And now remove all of the screws. And now the DVD player is removed. Pull out the ribbon cable. And there, the DVD player is now released. Remove the front panel. And remove these circuits that are right here and remove the circuits that are inside. Oh, well, this part's possibly useful. The push button switches are definitely useful. And remove the screws to free this circuit. And this circuit right here has some very interesting LEDs and these push buttons are also very nice. Next, remove some more screws. And this part here for the VCR, I can play the VHS tapes, has some very interesting components. Mostly the DC motor and these gears are also very interesting. And right here, the rest of the circuit, which now I need to remove the screws to be able to free it. Whoops, I broke it. That's okay, it's a teardown. Next, I'm going to remove the screws from the DVD player to be able to access the interesting components that are inside. Top panel removed. And I removed the screws from the underside. And there we go, DVD tray removed. And now remove some more screws. And there we go. The part that controls the DVD is removed. And over here, a little DC motor. DC motors like these are very nice. Remove this circuit to see if it's worth salvaging, to see if there's any precious metals on it. Doesn't appear to be so. And now remove some more screws to remove this circuit over here to be able to access this DC motor. And there we go, the DC motor. Very nice. And there, the complete teardown. Now what I need to do is sort out all these components and see what's worth salvaging. And here are all the parts that are worth salvaging. This part here controls the VHS. This motor here can be very interesting and useful, along with that DC motor. These gears and these wheels can be useful. Not really sure, but I might keep it. These push buttons are very nice, along with these LEDs are also very nice. This DVD player tray looks very nice, along with the DC motor inside. And of course, the laser diode could potentially be useful along with that little driver motor to allow the laser diode to move up and down the DVD. Could be able to use that. Some wires in this DC motor and a bunch of screws that I found useful. More push buttons. These parts, I'm not really sure if I'll use, but could use it. This little PC cooling fan is very nice. 
And this right here is an infrared receiver and these little pressure switches. Definitely can use these pressure switches for something since they seem to be very sensitive. And there we go, all of the components that are worth salvaging. And there is more. This part here has a bunch of components that are worth salvaging. I'm not going to remove all of the components off from the board, nor off from this one. I'm just going to get I'm just going to keep them on the board so that way I can use them for a future project and whenever I need a component I can just simply desolder it and it's there and ready. Doing that will make it a lot easier. Of course I can desolder all of these components and remove it off from the boards but that will be a little too time consuming and it has a higher risk of losing. If I keep it in a larger form like this it allows me to be able to find it in a future project. I just simply go to the board and desolder one component and use it. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside a VCR DVD combo machine. Now you know how it works and you know what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.